Subtropical moisture is meeting up with colder air in the northern mountains to produce not only some thunderstorms, but some wet mountain snow showers near Telluride. Some thunderstorms moving to the eastern side of Cortez, just to the west of Durango. Very quick moving thunderstorms moving to the northeast in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the San Juan Mountains as well. And far to the southwest, even your Silver City, some bouts of moderate rain and some lightning strikes earlier. And again, these showers quickly moving off to the north and east with that tropical moisture really in place. And more showers and thunderstorms moving through Grants along Highway 124. Again, a little bit of a wet morning out there. And it was a bit of a wetter morning earlier in Albuquerque. Now some drizzle nearby. More showers in the San Felipe Pueblo as well as Santa Fe Española. These yellows and oranges indicative of some moderate bouts of rain. Here's a live look at Albuquerque. Cloudy skies and you kind of do notice the mistiness below the cloud deck. That's some light rain falling, particularly in the Sandias and atop Sandia Peak. But pretty good visibility of downtown Albuquerque in the Duke City. Pretty cool and humid morning out there. An air temperature of 63 degrees right now. A northerly wind at 12 miles per hour. 84% relative humidity. Look at these temperatures, uh, generally pretty uniform because of the moisture out there. Now, there are some pockets of 30s in the high elevations, some pockets of low 70 degree temperatures there in Las Cruces at 70 right now. But we're starting to warm up in Alamosa, 46. It's still chilly though, 50 in Taos, 57 in Santa Fe, as well as Las Vegas. You guys are under a flood watch. After we warm up today, generally in the 70s for you guys in Las Vegas and 80s in Albuquerque, 90s in Las Cruces, 60s in the mountain terrain. We are going to be seeing some thunderstorms, particularly in the northwestern two thirds of our viewing area, as there is that flood watch for again, Mora, Las Vegas, Villa Nueva in effect until this afternoon. Another flood watch for in effect for tomorrow. So the eastern and northern slopes of the Sangre de Cruz Mountains. Flooding a possibility. Burn scar flash flooding a little bit more likely today in the Hermit's Peak Cap Canyon burn scar. Here in Albuquerque, a muggy day, 84, average high 83. Showers this morning and the potential for some thunderstorms, at least nearby. And even if it doesn't really rain that much or at all, we'll likely get those storms cooling things off. So most of the storms this morning moving in the four corners in these pinks and whites indicative of some mountain snow that will start to pick up within the next few hours in the four corners. We're already starting to see that. So with the moisture and the cooler air aloft, that's creating the instability. And with daytime heating, more thunderstorms, more instability in the Hemis Mountains. Eventually the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, very spotty rain activity in the central and southern mountains and more widespread showers and rumbles of thunder in south and western areas of our viewing area. So we got plenty of moisture aloft, southwesterly winds aloft pushing the moisture in. But because of this high pressure system in the Great Basin, that tropical moisture will be very stubborn for today. Here are our chances of rain, especially in the four corners. And then the storm activity moving farther to the northeastern highlands tomorrow. Albuquerque will have one more push of rain tomorrow. Low to mid 80s for today and tomorrow lows in the low 60s and 50s, drier and then eventually warmer leading up into fall and then we start to cool off.